We do have some heavy clouds. We actually have had some of that Gulf moisture pretty rich sticking around North Texas, and it has provided some scattered showers and isolated storms even this morning. We were seeing that down to the southwest, places like Granbury, down around Hamilton and Comanche. You got in on some of that rainfall that was fairly quick to move on. Now most of us are dry, but an upper-level disturbance is passing over Texas. It's got all that moisture to tap into, so we keep rain chances at about a 30% chance as we get into the afternoon. Better chances are going to be south and east of DFW. But again, right now, most of us dry under a mostly cloudy sky. We put this clock into motion. And as you can see, we can see some additional development, 3, 4 o'clock, even into 5 o'clock. We'll be focusing down maybe around Ellis County, Hill County, and then over around Van Zant County as well. But any of that should diminish as the evening progresses. In fact, we're going to see not only some dry weather, we're going to see some drier air start to move in. As a cold front tries to work its way in, that'll be later on tomorrow. And it will help to clear out some of that humidity, take some of those clouds with it, and end up will end up with a really nice weekend. Right now, 78 degrees. The dew point is at 67. Winds out of the north at 9. All across the area, we're starting to see those numbers get into the low 80s. Places like Addison at 81, Burleson 82. We'll get into the mid to upper 80s for today. That's still a few degrees below average and keep our rain chances fairly low. Now, after we get past any rain chances today, we will wait for that air to start drying out for the weekend. So just in time for your weekend plans, feeling like fall with dew points in the 50s. All right, let's talk the tropics. So active, as we all are well aware, we've had 20 named storms. We've had seven hurricanes, but we are finally getting closer to seeing that peak end. So we'll be going on the downhill trend if, if history repeats itself, which this is typically what happens. We go into uh, late September and into October, and activity slowly starts to dwindle. We now have post-tropical Sally. So the last update has been given 30 mile per hour max sustained winds. It's a rainmaker though, and a heavy one at that, producing seven inches plus in places like Georgia. And it's not the only one we're watching. There is another disturbance down across the southwestern Gulf. This one has a 90% chance of developing in the next five days. So it would take that last name uh, that we have on our alphabet. So we'll watch for that. And we are expecting for, uh, for that to move off to the north and to the northeast. R by the way, we are doing weather on wheels virtually. i got to throw that out there. If you want to head to our website, you can get more information.